Hi guys, welcome to the desktop here. It's the flagship. And I saw a message on Discord, somebody uh, having issues with uh, Xenmod. What's that? F12. Yay. Xenmod, right? Oh, oh, sorry. Yay, Xenmod. And it seems there are a few headers that we can build. Just a few, 34. Let's say a header takes around 30 minutes. So 30 minutes times 34, let's say around uh, 16 hours of building time. No, not gonna do it. Control Alt E, what I am gonna do, is launch the tweak tool of Arcalex. Go to the shop, say, hey shop, open up this shop the one from chaotix stop ctrl t update which means get the databases in and pacman is going over etcpacman.conf and it finds a line suddenly we have only 900 kilobytes and, and that's all the information it needs to and then i'd rather go to manjaro's pacmac here and go for example just specifically go for that one. So these are the things I can install with an LTS kernel, LTS headers, Git headers. These are the guys I can install. Like mentioned on Discord, it's never without a, um, a danger, right? It's not on your working machine. It's try it out first. See how large already these things are. 336 megabytes, 132 megabytes, 340 megabytes, 132 megabytes, right? So rather than doing it here, I say, okay, let's have a go at Super F7. I have here Carly to test out, I have the ALCI to test out, start. Because I try to make you think out of the box. It's all Arch Linux, right? It's um, Endeavor OS uh, Garuda. It's all Arch Linux. And if I wanted to install Xenmod on there, I'll do probably something similar as this. So we don't have a tweak tool here. So would, wouldn't it be easy, right? Pseudo Pacman minus S. We don't have, I think, I don't have, yay. Let's have a look. So this is a virtual LCI project is at Arch Linux Calamaris stop. That's it. Now I don't even have uh, Firefox. <laughs> I mean, I'm really making it myself difficult to do it this way because I need all the information on this machine. This word doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? It says so. Database file for Arch Linux does not exist. Use minus sy to download Pacman is stupid, has no clue whatsoever what packages are where. Make him smart. It's your mistake. Voila. Updates are in, databases are there, and also the Celtic. I have the Celtic. It's gonna be easier than I think. I have the Celtic. Pseudo Pacman minus S. Is there something called Linux Xamod? Well, let's do that again. Linux, tap, tap. These are all the possibilities. And here's behind one of those guys. So yeah, it's going to be easier than I thought. Because of the fact that we have a repository. Why do we have a repository? Pacman.conf has three lines. Here are the repositories of um, this guy. Now, on this court, just what I just read a few seconds ago, there's a middle list problem, as always a problem, because we are dependent on, it starts here on my computer, network card, is the cable plugged in, is my router working, is the glass, the, the fiber from my internet service provider okay, and then we go to the other side of the world, it can always glitch somewhere, and it might be that the servers of Celtic, of Arsenix, of Arcanix are out for a while, and then you get lots of errors, right? So you just try again later on. So Xenmod, that's all I have. LTS. Uh, phew, I don't know what to take, right? So let's take the first one. 
good guess let's see if I don't get any errors that's fine voila too bad for him because he had got a lot of errors the thing is update the mirrors basically and then people try to type mirror because we have this alias mirror no of course not you go to cd etc let's go via the terminal pacman d voila ls here is the arsenic stuff not arcanic stuff eh? here's the arsenic stuff here's the chaotic stuff and the arcanic stuff so if, is anything if anything is wrong for chaotic what i do is sudo nano chaotic and have a look what's in there and all the hashtags are un unimportant so it's, it's going to take this one the first one okay if the first one doesn't work all gr hashtag in front of it save control x yes save then it's coming from cx and then it's coming from brazil but the result is not, is out for some reason so i would take that one and texas maybe or washington and so on you just take the server that actually works that's the point it's a computer that's down or up so everything worked fine here another thing you can do is a um, well an update of course but if you do sudo pacman minus syyu and everything is up to date let's see our own argolinx mirror list is now up to date we've changed a few lines there and um, sudo pacman minus s and, and, and c if the chaotic mirror list which last uh, which one is it sorry uh, enter yeah so the one of 2021 of March 29. Can I install? Yay. Yes. Ah. Awesome, right? That's your ALCI ISO dev for you. Yay is being installed. I wanted to show you what did I want to I wanted to show you this chaotic go see that the mirror list online where are you all you see are now Celtic stuff you see this is the third party the keyring from us is from this date but here is another guy the key ring that's one thing and the mirror list that's another thing so you check out if there is a new one and there is a new one so there is this is 29 this is 30 and which one did we install good question I haven't installed anything let's see what we get if we do oops if we do chaotic mirror list which one do we get 29 so there's one more i just need to update the third party run a script done but we're not here for that it's always interesting to add it we're here for the xan mod kernel so sudo reboot which does not work right sudo reboot sr is an alias for us and suddenly we're booting from archlex Ah, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. Let's see. Maybe. Control T. NeoFetch is installed just for these types of things. You see here, it's not installed. Let's have a look. Why are you not installed? ETC, whoops. Uh, boot. Here he is. so it's there but it's not used it's not used as kernel if i'm correct so lots of things to choose Xanmod, which one did we take? 
the household get this one. So, okay, so size up to date, reinstalling. All looks good. Didn't look if there were any issues. So we have here the make init CPO D that's starting Lin Zanmot generating module. So this is now being generated. This guy 8.6, where are we? The fallback. So this guy is being created. Here you see the number changing a little bit. So that's changing. That's what he's making now. And that's init RAM file system. Later on, image generation successful. And when we reboot, I don't have to try again, but I am going to try again. It should actually have the other one. Now, it must be, must be a reason for it, right? Because in Linux LTS, Linux N, Linux Harden, no issues, everything actually is, is changed. Let's have a look here with an E, what he's going to do. Loading lo Linux Linux. So he's going to load the Linux kernel. And here, E, he's going to load the Linux kernel as well. Basically, we have to make him smarter. Let's update the grub. That's a difficult one for me. I'll just <laughs> go to the other machine. <laughs> Alias, update grub. <laughs> That's the one I need to type, right? Update grub, it's called, not clicks. Okay, go update the grub. So though, we have actually a hook, so we don't need to think about it anymore. It's all automatically done. Oops, what am I doing? So though, grub make config minus o and then slash and boot and grub and grub dot cfg typos boom you're in and then he finds it right found this image found this image let's change this image okay fine Let's see if it now works. E. Uh -huh. Echo, loading Linux, Linux camel as well. All right, VM Linux, Linux Hexmod uh, stuff thing. Okay, let's see. That's the line we want, right? Immediately we see that's the correct kernel. Yeah, things doing things automatically, you tend to forget they're there. It's a step we don't have to remember anymore. Ta -da -da -da. Now, don't come asking me why is this better or anything like it. I don't know. You be the judge if this works on your machine, yes or no. Um, but basically, that's the only thing I wanted to share, some knowledge about sound mods and Celtic and the keys and the mirrors, it all matters. And then, okay, finally, you got your sound mod kernel. And then you stick to it and you try it out. All right, cheers.